On behalf of TVLesson.com, I'm Dave Zarco with USABadminton.org. In this clip on Beginner's Badminton, I'm going to show you how to develop hand-eye coordination. Now, a lot of you will probably have that already, but there are many of you that if you've never hit with a badminton racket, you've got roughly 30 inches from your hand to the end of this racket, okay? So for you to be able to hit it properly in the center of the racket, you have to be able to develop your hand-eye coordination. So if you keep missing when you're first playing, what I recommend is you take a shuttle and you put it here in the center of your racket, you hold it down about waist height, and then what you do is you just lift it up and you're gonna bounce it, but you don't hit it, you just let it bounce on the string and you try to bounce it at least 20 times like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, if you'll notice, it moves. So that means you have to move with it, okay? Now, once you've done that, if you don't have somebody to practice with to hit, your best practice partner is the wall. And what you do, you can develop all your shots against the wall, and it makes you faster because you have to get your racket back up. You can practice your forehand or your backhand, like so. This is your forehand and your backhand. This is especially good when you are first starting out before you start playing to practice against the wall and as you get better you can hit it faster and harder. But before you can practice against the wall, you have to have hand-eye coordination, which is why I recommend bouncing it at least 20 times in a row with your racket. If you can't do that, don't even bother going out on the court yet. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Dave Zarco. Thanks for watching.